Achilles, the son of Thetis and Peleus, was a remarkable warrior with unparalleled strength and prowess. He was renowned for his feats of bravery and his remarkable skill in battle. However, his most famous achievement was the slaying of Hector, the Trojan prince, outside the gates of Troy. This heroic feat earned Achilles a place in legend and stories that are still told today. As the Trojan War raged on, Achilles continued to display his skills on the battlefield. However, the invulnerability that had protected him thus far would soon come to an end. Tragically, he met his own end at the hands of Paris, who shot an arrow into his vulnerable heel. It is interesting to note that Achilles' vulnerability in his heel was due to his mother, Thetis. As a child, Thetis had dipped Achilles into the river Styx in order to make him invulnerable. However, as she held him, his heel did not touch the water, leaving it unprotected. This is how the term, Achilles' heel, came into being. It refers to a point of weakness in an otherwise strong and indestructible character, organization, or object. Even the Achilles tendon, which connects the heel to the calf muscles, was named after this legendary figure due to the story of his vulnerability. In the end, Achilles will forever be remembered as one of the greatest heroes of the Trojan War, whose tragic downfall served as a cautionary tale about the dangers of hubris and the importance of recognizing one's weaknesses. Achilles was a legendary hero of the Trojan War, born to Thetis and Peleus, king of the Myrmidons. Zeus and Poseidon both wanted to marry Thetis but withdrew when warned that her son would be greater than his father. Another story says Thetis refused Zeus' advances, and he decreed she could never marry an immortal. Thetis tried to make Achilles invincible by dipping him in the river Styx, holding him by his left heel, which remained vulnerable. Peleus entrusted his son to Chiron the centaur to be reared, with Thetis predicting that he would either have a short glorious life or a long uneventful one. Achilles grew up with his friend Patroclus in Thia, before joining the Trojan War. According to Photius, Thetis burned all her children with Peleus, but Peleus saved Achilles with only a burnt foot. Chiron dug up the ankle of the fastest giant, Damasus, and added it to Achilles' foot. Thetis, the sea nymph and mother of Achilles, knew the fate that awaited her son in the Trojan War. To keep him safe from harm, she dressed him as a girl and sent him to the court of Lycomedes, king of Skyros. Disguised as, Pyrrha, Circisera, or Isa, Achilles lived among the king's daughters and proved to be skilled in weaving and dancing like a girl. During his time at the court, Achilles fell in love with Lycomedes' daughter Datamaya. He impregnated her and fathered two sons, Neoptolemus and Oniros. However, some versions of the story claim that he raped her. Meanwhile, the Greeks were struggling in their campaign against Troy and desperately needed Achilles, the greatest warrior in Greece, to join them. They sent Odysseus to find him, who cleverly disguised himself as a peddler and visited the court of Lycomedes. Among his wares, he placed a shield and a spear, and Achilles instantly picked up the spear. Odysseus then revealed himself and convinced Achilles to join the Greek campaign. On the other hand, another version of the story claims that during a trumpet alarm, Achilles prepared to defend the court and revealed his true identity while the women fled in panic. Nonetheless, Achilles joined the Greek forces and became one of the greatest heroes of the Trojan War. Despite his tragic death, his story and legacy lived on for generations to come. Once upon a time, there was a king named Telephus who ruled over the land of Mysia and played a minor but significant role in the Trojan War. He was famous for being wounded by Achilles during the unexpected battle, and the wound would not heal no matter what he tried. Telephus consulted an oracle who prophesied that only the man who had inflicted the injury could cure it. Thus, he journeyed to Argos to meet Achilles. There were different versions of the story that detailed how Telephus approached Achilles. Some accounts stated that he disguised himself as a beggar and begged for a cure, which Achilles refused to provide. But some other tales indicated that Telephus held Orestes hostage, and he demanded Achilles to help him cure his wound. Regardless of how they met, 
wise Odysseus saw through the ruse and recognized that the only cure was the spearhead that had caused the wound. Thus, Odysseus scraped off a piece of the metal and applied it to the wound of Telephus, which healed him miraculously. Telephus was grateful for Achilles' act of kindness and decided to repay him by becoming their guide for the voyage to Troy. He became an instrumental ally in the Trojan War, and his wound was regarded as a symbol of the divine intervention that occurred in ancient times. Even after all the battles were over, Telephus went down in history as someone who overcame a terrible affliction by displaying humility, courage, and resourcefulness. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.